Hi everyone, welcome to Setflix. In this episode, we'll be showing you how we made a smart hanging basket. Flowers look great, and we all love a good shrubbery. But let's face it, they're a massive faff. I'm the sort of person who could somehow kill a cactus. Basically, I don't have green fingers. But this smart hanging basket makes it a whole lot easier to pretend that I do. The smart hanging basket makes the process of being a plant parent a whole lot less taxing by allowing you to water your plants with just the touch of a button on your Arduino dashboard. Not only that, it also has a bunch of other cool sensors, meaning, among other things, you can check the dashboard for real-time data about the weather and light conditions, so I never leave the house with an unnecessary jacket again. This project was super fun to make, and we learnt a lot that we want to share. Let's get started with the build. For this build, you will need 3D printed parts, and from the Arduino Maker IoT bundle, Arduino Maker 1010 Wi-Fi board, environment sensor shield, a relay shield, RGB LED and 200 ohm resistor. You will also need connecting clips, a 12 volt white LED strip, a 5 volt regulator, a solenoid valve, power supply and a hook. When starting this project, we knew we wanted to make a smart hanging basket, but we had no idea where to start. We found a solution in the form of an Arduino Maker IoT bundle. Let's show you how we did it. The environment shield on the Arduino kit has a variety of sensors. Luminescence, temperature, air pressure, humidity and UV, comprising UVA, UVB and UV index. This is useful information, but can seem pretty abstract. What could it be used for? UV index will tell us things like whether or not we should be wearing sun cream, which, FYI, you should probably do anyway. Temperature is obviously a pretty good indication of how many layers you should wear, especially because this is a more accurate local measurement compared to any weather app. The relay board means we have the ability to easily control higher power devices, such as some 12 volt LED strips, which we've used to create a powerful light. We also knew we could use a 12 volt solenoid valve to control the water flow. Then we thought we could also give the Arduino Cloud Platform a go. We know how to make an app for displaying real-time data, that's a shameless plug for our smart boy project. But to quickly create a dashboard for controlling your Arduino product, the Arduino Cloud Platform is definitely a lot simpler. The design for the enclosure turned out okay, but to start with, it was about as attractive as a fly tip girder. Yes, that's a phrase. We knew it had to be able to hold the weight of damp soil and a flower filled basket and house all the electronics for the LEDs, sensors and water valve. We also knew it would have to have wired power because a solar solution probably wouldn't provide enough energy during the winter months. Yay, England. It would also need an easy access connection with a hose pipe. Our final print looks like this. We printed it in PETG for strength and durability and added some funky embossed effects to make it look a bit prettier. There's a little window in the top so the sensors can still see. As you can see, we used a heat gun to try and heal some of the layer gaps. If anyone out there knows how we can make our PETG prints nicer without spending an arm or a leg on some fancy new equipment, please holler. Let's go through the electronics.
onto the Arduino Cloud website. Create a new thing. Enter a name and add your board. It's pretty simple to configure your board if you haven't done that. Now you're in the things editor. Add a thing. Let's start by adding the temperature measurement. Choose your preferred unit. Set some limits on your measurement. These are for the graphs. And set it to read only because unluckily we can't write what temperature we want it to be outside. Click add and it's there. Click on the button saying edit sketch. And you'll see the familiar Arduino editor. Now if you add your own Wi-Fi details into the secrets tab and then in your Arduino sketch, add the Arduino environment shield library. In the setup, begin the connection to the environment shield and make a temperature measurement. In the loop function, make a measurement and then delay for 200 milliseconds. Finally, upload your code by going back into the IoT cloud and clicking on dashboard where you'll see a live measurement if it all works. We went on and added all our devices which you can see in our blog post where we also share the code. Another interesting thing is this webhooks tab where it says you can send and receive automated messages but we couldn't figure out how to receive them on the Arduino. This is a shame because it is really easy to trigger a webhook on IFTTT using Google calendars for automated watering, but I guess we'll have to implement this functionality ourselves for now. There's an example of someone doing something similar in the description. Our final dashboard looks like this. We hope you enjoyed our Smart Hanging Basket tutorial. A big thank you to Distrelec who sponsored this video. Products we use can be bought at our online store by following the links below. Let us know if you can think of any other practical uses for the Arduino Internet of Things kit. Thanks for watching.